like fully expect it to just keep growing and growing and becoming stronger and stronger. And I think they're very similar in a lot of ways. And I think that's going to come out even more throughout the season. I'm hoping. I mean, look, we're only we're, we're still filming episode two, so we haven't gotten that far into the season yet. So I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but I fully expect that you know they they keep on growing closer closer and stronger and stronger, and I do think they're very similar in, in attitudes, and uh, uh, I think that's going to come out well. I mean, uh, Prince Neil, you know, what can I tell you? It's yeah. like it's David and Snow's chance to become the parents that they, they, they never were because uh, Emma was taken from them uh, when she was born. So they're going to do whatever they can to protect that baby and be the best parents that they can. At the same time, uh, being the heroes that they are and trying to protect Storybrooke from all the uh, villain and evil that uh, comes knocking at its door. Uh, we'll find out. I, I don't know. the. I mean, of course he's going to be important to the history for certain. I mean, whether he is magical or whatever, I don't, I don't even know that. He's got to grow up. He's still a baby. better. I think, you know, they'll, they'll learn even more about what it's like to really be a parent. So I, maybe their, their ways of dealing with Emma will slightly change and become uh, more... Because I don't always think, particularly with Snow, I don't always think they're uh, sympathetic with, with Emma all the time. I think they can be kind of hard on her sometimes. So maybe that'll lighten up. I don't know. I don't know. And congratulations, by the way. Thanks. Thanks. Of course, there's a definite crossover, you know, definite crossover, and uh, you know, I know a lot about changing diapers. I know a lot about the pool, and I haven't slept since the 28th of May, so I can use all of it. I'll leave it up to the guys. I think they do a fantastic job of writing this, this character, particularly. I think Gold really, is really, really uh, intricate, more you know, intricate than written. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll go wherever they want to go. But I know it'll be interesting, that's for sure. And I think that the relationship, I think I'm looking forward to this. I think that this will be, uh, this relationship will be stretched as far as it can go this time. And it, it, could, it could be to breaking point, but we'll see. It's a good guy, though, yeah. That's the show. Yeah. <laughs> Were you surprised that Rumpel was the least? Did you know that Rumpel was going to be done? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And I think that was yeah, the first episode we did, but you can't answer. Yeah, I knew it was going to be. I didn't know right away. But yeah, I can't guess. Once we discussed that, I didn't know what they were going to see. But I had no idea it was going to continue the way they did. Again, I don't, I don't know, I genuinely don't know, I mean, but in episode three, I know that in uh, episode two, was it two? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a very nice scene with uh, Gold and uh, Henry, but they, they come back from honeymoon, and uh, he's already in the shop, he's waiting for him in the shop in the middle of the night, and uh, he really, for the first time, I think he really has a, a, kind, of, a kind of paternal conversation with Henry, uh, trying to help him, trying to help him through his problems, uh, because he's not, Henry's going to get problems with a young man, uh, you know what I mean? So yeah. that's, that's, that's going to be interesting coming this season. Um, and hopefully um, Gold can help him, help him through that. Yeah, that's, that's a really beautiful story.